Welcome, friends. It's good to be back with you. We're looking at Philippians chapter 4 today. And in this very personal letter to the Philippians, Paul says this in verse 2, I urge Euodia and I urge Syntyche, two women, Euodia and Syntyche, to be of the same mind in the Lord. Yes, and I ask you also, my loyal companion, help these women, for they have struggled beside me in the work of the gospel, together with Clement and the rest of my co-workers, whose names are in the book of life. Evidently, there was some strife between uh, these two fellow disciples uh, in the Philippian house churches, Euodia and Syntyche. Sounds very human, doesn't it? The, the church is a very human institution. It's divine and human at the same time. And so uh, Paul is urging them to be of the same mind in the Lord. That's where we have our unity. We must never forget that we seek the same goals, our unity is in Christ. And then he appeals to whoever his loyal companion is. And literally in the Greek, this means true yoke fellow, um, yoked together with Paul, serving, working, struggling, being together in, in the work of the gospel. Help these women, he says, for they have struggled beside me in the work of the gospel. Here's that, that image of working alongside. That's what we're called to be. Do you have a friend? Do you have a spiritual companion that walks alongside you? Maybe someone that you can call up and encourage, maybe someone who encourages you, who helps you to think about what it means to be that person of faith and move forward. Sometimes it's failing forward, right? Because as Christians, we, we fail sometimes. Uh, as Christians, we stumble sometimes, and that's okay. We live in grace. So sometimes, yes, we're we're aspiring forward. Sometimes we're failing forward, but we are forgiven people. We are blessed people. We're, we're recipients of God's original blessing because in the book of Genesis, to go all the way back there, God first created us in the image of God. That's God's original blessing for us. And so we're called alongside one another like Euodia and Syntyche were, called alongside of Paul and Clement and all these whose names, Paul says, are in the book of life. In this Roman colony called Philippi, this, this city called Philippi, these Roman citizens had their names in a Roman register. And what the Apostle Paul is claiming here is there's a register that's far more important than some Roman register, some register kept by secular authorities. And that is the register that where our names are written by grace, by God's infinite love for us, for you. Will you take that to heart? Will you remember this week and every day my name is written in grace in God's book of life for now and for forever. Thanks for being with me today. Go with God. Have a great week.